Hi everybody on YouTube today. How's everyone doing out there? Me? I'm doing fine. Well, I can't say fine, but I've been better. Well, you see, I went to the doctor today due to the fact that last week, Monday, I woke up with severe migraine. And it has not went away. It has not subsided yet. You know, I wake up with a migraine. I take some, I take like ibuprofen for it. It'll go away for a little bit. And then later on, it'll, I, later on, it'll come back. And then I'll take some more ibuprofen. And then later on, it'll come back. And by the time the end of the night comes, I'm going to bed with a migraine. And then the next day, of course, I wake up with the same one. And this has been happening since a whole week. And it's a whole week and two days. I'm tired of these migraines. Light bothers my eyes. Loud noise bothers my eyes. It's like, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, it feels like I got vertigo. Everything's like wobbly. And um, stuff like that. And my body aches. And my nose is stuffed up. So my wife was concerned. She thinks that, you know, might be something more. I'm like, no, it's just my sinuses. Which, guess what? It is my sinuses. I have a sinus infection. Again, if you people have sinuses, you know what sinus infection feels like. It really is a pain in the butt. I don't like sinus infections. They bother me. They bother my head. They don't make me feel well. So I went in and I looked. I went in and got looked at. Now, with that being said, I seen a new, a new person a, per, a doctor, uh, well, she's a, she's a nurse practitioner for the doctor. I seen a new one. I haven't seen her before, and she took a look at my ear, this side, and she looked on the other side. But this side, she's like, "Have have you had tubes in your ears before?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "Cause I see a lot of scarring." Have you ever had a punctured eardrum? I said, "Yep." She said, "Well, how'd that happen?" Well, I used to backyard wrestle. I got hit in the head with things. One time I got hit, hit in the head with a super soaker and it punctured my eardrum. She's like, what happened? I said, the doctors looked at me and they told me it'll heal on its own. She's like, well, I don't think it did. I said, what do you mean? She's like, you still got a little hole in your ear. She's like, do you have trouble hearing? I said, yeah, sometimes. I said, especially when your back's toward me and you're talking to me. I can't hear. And if I'm looking at you, sometimes I have to read your lips. Because on the left side, everything sounds muffled. So, I told her. And then I said, you know, when I was born, I couldn't hear anything. The doctor said I might not be able to hear at all. So, they put tubes in my ears. And they said when I was like about almost four, I started to hear but then the tubes fell out. They had to get them put in again. So I always had trouble with my ears. So now I have to go see a hair, ear, nose, and throat doctor to see if I have a hole in my ear. And if I do, they might have to do surgery again. Well, anyways, so she gave me that. She also gave recommended me to go see a hearing doctor. So I have to go see that. And... I'm on an antibiotic for this sinus infection, and hopefully my migraine will go away. That's my day today. It's been a heck of a week with this headache stuff. It has been a heck of a two days, and I'm hoping it will get better. Now, for all those people that don't want to go to the doctors because you're like, oh, I don't want to go to the doctors, I don't want to find out what's wrong with me because it could be something totally bad, you know what? Go to the doctors. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Because if you sit there too long and they they find something too late, it could be too late for you. When they can fix it right away and you'll be fine. Like me. I don't like doctors. And I know a lot of men that don't like doctors. I even know women that don't like doctors. But go. It's important because your health's important. Especially if you have kids. Or if you have a husband or a wife. Because if you don't go to the doctors. And something happens to you. Because of the fact that you did not go. You're going to end up dying. 
You could leave your spouse behind or your kids. That's not cool. So think of them. Get checked out because honestly, the doctor, if they find something, they could treat it. Most things are treatable. So go. Because you don't want to wait until it gets too bad. Because then it might not be treatable. I don't like doctors. I don't like take medication. But I did take medication if I need to. I try to avoid it. I try to eat healthy. I try to work out. I do my best. But there comes a point where you have to say, you know what, I have to take this medicine. Some stuff may be genetic. Like high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, or, or diabetes, or anything like that could be genetic. Like me, I have high cholesterol. I think I eat pretty healthy. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I try to stay away from a lot of starches and a lot of fatty foods. I still get fatty foods, but I try not to eat as much. And yet, I still have high cholesterol. I try to take care of it on my own by changing my diet. It does not go away. So I have to take a pill now. But that pill helps. So please, if you're out there and you know something's wrong, you can... You can sense your body. Listen to yourself. Go to the doctor. Don't wait too long. Alright? It's important. I did. I went today. And unfortunately, I knew I was right. I knew I had a sinus infection. Period. Because I told my wife, it's just my sinuses. I probably got a sinus infection again. I'm make, make a doctor's appointment. Sick visit. That's what I did. So, And I make one every three months. Because I am on a cholesterol pill. <coughs> Excuse me. And the uh, cholesterol, cholesterol pill can mess with your liver and stuff. So the doctor wants to make sure you, your liver and stuff are fine. So, you know, I don't want that to happen. Good thing is, is that the medication is not affecting me at all. It's, it's helping my lower my cholesterol. So that's cool. All right. I'm not going to waste any more time. Because I already wasted 7 minutes and 17 seconds or 18 seconds now. So just do do that favor and go to the doctor. Alright? Alright. Until then, I'll see y'all later.